Good afternoon. I'm Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka. I'm giving you a message in front of the governor's State of the State speech tonight. Uh, and I want to say that that speech he's given tonight is maybe the one of the most important ones that he's going to be giving as governor. Uh, Minnesota has gone through a very, very difficult time, as has the whole country and world for that matter. And we have to face this thing together. It's not Democrat or Republican, it's Americans together fighting this. And so we want the governor to be successful and we want the president to be successful. It doesn't matter whether you're Republicans or Democrats, they have to succeed. So we're going to do everything we can to help our governor succeed. And I think as he lays out his plan tonight, we'll try our best to rally around it. And it's not just the, the life uh, and health of the people of Minnesota, it's also the economy that's being affected and, and people's livelihood. So his speech tonight, uh, I believe, will be one of hope and direction. And I just want you to know that uh, I am walking hand in hand, arm in arm with the governor, with the House, with the Senate. We're in this together and we're going to defeat COVID-19 together. And so that's the main message I wanted to say today. But then what is the Senate doing? I, I will tell you that we've already signed three bills, 100 percent unanimous support of Democrats and Republicans, providing over a half a billion dollars to the governor to take care of the things that he has to move quickly on with his emergency powers. That's really important that he can have those resources to buy mas masks and ventilators and all the different things that we need for the battle against COVID-19. And, and let me just say, I, I had a conversation with a nurse a couple of days ago and just could feel the emotion of, do you have our back? And I just felt like we would we needed to move hell or high water to make sure that they had all the resources they needed because they're on the front lines taking care of this. And so we're doing that. We're giving the governor resources. When he makes requests, we approve them ASAP because we want to make sure those people on the front lines are taken care of. The next thing that we need to do related to that is if they do get COVID-19, they want to know that the workers' compensation benefits are, are for them, will pay them if they get COVID-19. Absolutely. We'll make sure that that gets done. The Work Comp Council has been working to make sure the language is, is in place to clarify that. We'll follow through and make sure that that happens for you. So we're going to battle this together. The, the resources that we're building up is to make sure that we have the resources when the surge comes that we're ready. That's phase one. The second thing that we need to do working together is what do we do about the livelihood of so many Minnesotans that have lost their jobs, can't make their mortgage payments, are stuck and may never come back to the jobs they have. So we have to figure out how are we going to jumpstart that economy? How do we make sure that these jobs come back? That's the most important thing we can do is provide resources to, to jump it back. And I know the governor wants to do that too. We need to work together to make sure that we're doing that so we can get Minnesota back on track as soon as possible. The more jobs that we can allow people to start as soon as they can, the better. If you're a landscaper, if you're out on the golf course, if, if you're uh, putting docks in the water, all of those kind of things, if we do social distancing, I think we can do. And so let's get Minnesota back to work again as soon as possible. And then the third one is because of this massive strain on the economy and the revenues coming to the state of Minnesota are significantly lower and we're going to have a budget shortfall next year. And so we're saying let's focus on the budget that the state of Minnesota has to work on. We need to tighten our belt. We need to ask everybody what is it that we're doing? How do we do it better and less expensive? Because we got to we can't print money like the federal government does. And so we have to live within the resources we have. So those are the three things we're going to do. Governor, we're going to work with you and we're going to be successful over COVID-19. Thank you. God bless you and your families. Have a good night.